Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Blashy. In today's video, I'm going to talk about phytoceramides. Now, I um, had put out a video uh, months ago in which I asked you guys what you thought about phytoceramides because I had seen uh, that Dr. Oz had talked about them a couple of years ago on the show and they had called them a facelift in a bottle, saying that it was going to take 10 years off your face if you just took this simple dietary supplement. And I couldn't believe that it had been out there two years ago and I hadn't heard about it. So of course I was very skeptical because I feel like anything that is gonna come out that's new and that's easy to do um, and that actually works, we are gonna hear about it. It is gonna be like wildfire across the planet that everyone's gonna need to start taking these things or doing this thing. And so since I hadn't heard about it, I was like, well then can it really work? Because you know, if Dr. Oz said it and a million people didn't jump on the bandwagon and then report that yes, it was the greatest thing since sliced bread, then no, it could not be something that works. But of course, being curious, I felt like, well, I'm gonna try it for myself and see how it goes. And so, uh, first let's talk a little bit about what are phytoceramides. So phytoceramides are plant-derived ceramides. The phyto means plant and ceramides are lipids that are found in all layers of our skin. That helps to maintain our skin's barrier function and also helps to maintain the moisture levels in our skin. So um, phytoceramides, the plant-derived ones, are um, basically derived from either wheat or rice and they come in a supplement form that you can just take and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to eventually work its way into your skin and make your skin be more moisturized and more plump. Uh, you can get them into your body through your diet. They are commonly found in lots of foods like wheat, uh, rice, dairy, eggs, and soybeans. So if you're eating a well-rounded, wide variety diet, you are probably getting plenty of ceramides in your diet. But what Dr. Oz recommended was a 350 milligram wheat-based supplement, which I know a lot of people are doing gluten-free or have to do gluten-free, in which case the wheat-based is not for you. Then, um, so a rice-based version came out, and of those, apparently you only need 40 milligrams of the supplement in there to have the same effects as a 350 based on wheat. I didn't realize one of the ones I bought was actually a rice base, the first one that I used. Um, it was this one by this company called Rejuvel. It's 40 milligram rice based phytoceramide tab, um, gel cap. And these also contain vitamins A, C, D, and E. So when I finished that jar, I took some before and after pictures. And I gotta say, after the first month, I didn't see any difference. So then I bought another one, but I wanted to try a wheat-based one. So I went ahead and bought this one. This is Everpure Premium Phytoceramides. This is 350 milligrams of wheat-based uh, phytoceramide. But as I was talking about this one on YouTube, someone wrote in and said, hey, how much vitamin A is in there? <laughs> and so I looked at it, and this one has 5,000 international units over 200% of the RDA that you need in a day. So I'm like, gosh, am I getting vitamin A poisoning? I mean, vitamin A isn't one of those ones that can be truly toxic if you overdose on it, but it was a lot. And I was also, also taking a multivitamin. I also eat really healthy. I'm also putting a lot of vitamin A on my skin. So I was like, why so much vitamin A? That's ridiculous. So um, when I took the pictures again after two months, I was like, no difference. I don't see anything. I want to try another month. I actually went through... <coughs> Two bottles of these before I figured out the vitamin A thing. So that was my three bottles. So then the last one that I purchased was this one from Sports Research. These are called Lipo Wheat Phytoceramide Skin Hydrator. These are 350 milligrams. And thank goodness, there's nothing else in here. This doesn't contain vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin C, which is great because I get enough of that in my diet and my other supplements. I didn't need a whole bunch of other, you know, dietary vitamins in these. All I wanted was a little pill with just this in it, and that's what this one is. So I've been using this one for about 15 days, and um, here's what the little pill looks like. It's little, it's a little gel cap, it's easy to swallow, very nice, and there were 30 of them in here. And I think the average cost of all of these was about 12 to $15 a bottle, so they're about 50 cents a pill. So that was the um, intro to phytoceramides. Let's go to what we came here for, which is the before and after pictures. We can take a look at my skin and we'll see if the phytoceramides are a facelift in a bottle. So 
so what do you think? Do you see a difference? Um, I think that there is a very slight difference. I would not call it though a facelift in a bottle. I don't think it took 10 years off or even five years off. From you know, a visual standpoint, I think my skin looks pretty much the same. But you guys have been commenting a lot over the last few months since I have been taking them that I'm aging backwards and that my skin looks fantastic. Um, and so maybe it is the phytoceramides. I don't know. You guys know that I also do Retin-A. I also use over-the-counter anti-aging topicals like vitamin C, like antioxidants, like peptides. So it could all be working together and like having this magical cumulative effect. But this is the one thing that has changed since September that if you noticed and started noticing a change in my skin just since September, it could be these. Who knows? What I do have to say about it, and the reason that I think that there is something here, is because my skin does not feel um, dry and itchy like it usually does in the winter time, and it is February. It's been about 20 degrees on average here every day. It's been snowing for three weeks. We are up to our eyeballs in snow. Um, and the air is dry. We have indoor heating. When we're in our cars, the heat in the car is blowing on our faces. Usually this time of year, my skin is pretty dry. And at this time last year, I was doing videos about how to apply makeup when your skin is dry and flaky. My skin feels very comfortable and very nice. Um, I'm using all the same moisturizers as a year ago, so I can't say that it's because of any moisturizer that I've been using. So if what it's doing is that the ceramides are actually being ingested and then, you know, flowing out into my skin and then absorbing into my skin like they're supposed to from the inside, um, if that is in fact what's happening and it's helping to my skin to maintain its moisture barrier and to be more moisturized, then I am all for that. Uh, certainly I wish it was taking 10 or 20 years off my face. I don't really think it's doing that. I don't think it's done anything for like the surface wrinkling or certainly my deep wrinkles. Um, <laughs> what gets rid of my deep wrinkles is Botox. Um, what's plumped up my cheeks is uh, filler, <laughs> but um, you know, just looking at the surface wrinkles and some of those things, I gotta say, I feel like my lip wrinkles are a little better. Um, I'm not sure it's because of the phytoceramides, but maybe it is. If it is, I'm all for it. So you know what? Uh, my verdict is that I think I am gonna keep taking them. I know this is wacky because I was so dead set that there was nothing to this when I first started, and now I think there might actually be something to this. Um, so of the three brands that I, tr of, that I tried, this is the one that I'm going to stick with. It is just the Lipo Wheat with nothing else. Here's the ingredients. Kosher gelatin, kosher vegetable glycerin, and purified water. And that's it. You know, what can I say? I'm going to buy some more. I get these on Amazon. I'll put the link in the information bar below if you're thinking about, you know, trying some. But I'd say you have to take them for a good 60 days, maybe 90 days before you start feeling and seeing a difference. But I do think that I do see a slight difference and I do feel a big difference. So, um, you know, every little bit helps. You know, usually I only go for things that have like hard research behind them. Um, and this one doesn't really have any hard research behind it. I guess there was one study done in Osaka, Japan, very small, maybe a pool of 33 people. And it did find that, you know, when doing skin biopsies, that their skin was definitely more moisturized. I don't know how you jump from there to it's a facelift in a jar, but definitely moisturized skin is healthier skin. Healthier skin is, is more elastic and looks better. So, you know, from that standpoint, okay, make the leap. 20, 10 to 20 years? No, absolutely not but more moisturized skin that isn't itchy and scaly and crawling off my body in the dead of winter here in New England, I'm all for that. That's it. That is my opinion on phytoceramides. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. And as always, take care, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.